Hey guys, I'm back with another video, and this video is on the jailbreak for 4.2.1 firmwares on Windows, and it is an untethered jailbreak. Untethered jailbreak basically means that you can turn on your device and turn it off without it going into a continuous, you get the Apple symbol loop. And um, that was whenever you had the tether jailbreak for Red Snow. I didn't really make a video on that, but there was a video, or there was a uh, Red Snow jailbreak, and it was tethered, and if you turned off your device, it gave you the Apple symbol, and you couldn't turn it back on. And then you had to resync it, and it was just a pain. So now, they came out with a untethered jailbreak, and it is by the Chronic dev team. The untethered jailbreak for 4.2.1 4 works on all devices, and... It is made by uh, the Chronic Dev Team and is Green Poison. Now, the um, the only device that's not supported yet is the Apple TV, the new one, and it will be out shortly, probably in the next couple days. So, we're going to download it for Windows. Once you click the Windows button right there, you'll get a download and you just download it and then you'll get these files. If you don't get a WinRAR file, or then you should just get Green Poison. But if you do, then you're going to have to right click it and click Extract extract here. And then you will get these files. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to open up Green Poison. And I will be jailbreaking my iPod Touch. As you can see, it's fourth generation because it has the camera at the top. Let me open it up. It's already jailbroken because it was the tethered jailbreak that I have on it right now. So it's already jailbroken, but it's the tethered jailbreak, so that means I can't turn it off and turn it back on, or I can't have it die out on me and turn it back on and it won't work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it untethered. And um, this is a problem for most people. The uh, tethered jailbreak, it sucks, and that's, that's why they made the untethered one. And what you could do with it is, you basically you could turn off your phone or turn off your iPhone, or you could turn off your uh, iPod Touch, and you could turn it back on without it having any problems. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow the instructions on the screen, and what it says, it says, please power off your device and connect it. So it's connected via USB, right there. And what we're going to do. We're going to power off our device. There it goes. Wait for the light. It's powered off and it's connected. So we'll set that down. And after this screen, it's going to tell us to... Uh, it's going to prompt us to get our device in DFU mode, which is very simple. So I'll pick up the device. I'll get back and I'll just read you the screen read you what's on the screen if you can't see it all right in three two one hold the power button hold the power and the home button for ten seconds and let go of the power button and hold the home button and let it finish and once oh Sorry guys, and once uh, it is in DFU mode, you'll get this screen, and it'll say jailbreak in the left hand corner. So what you're going to do is click jailbreak, and it is jailbreaking. I'll show you on screen what's happening. Same time. I'm probably going to speed up through this because it's going to take a while sometimes. Right, I got stuck on this screen for a while before. It is recommended that you restore your device, but if you're already tethered, then you really don't need to. But if you are not jailbroken already, I would recommend restoring your device, which you can do through iTunes. It would just be safer for your device, and we are almost done. It says complete on the screen but just have to wait for this for the iPod. I'm probably going to be getting the iPhone 4 for Verizon. Oh, there we go. Alright, so you see that we have a new 
I animated the boot logo, I guess you could say. Yeah, that's what that is. With an animated boot logo, and uh, that's put on there from the Chronic Dev team, showing you that they jailbroke your device. Let's wait for it to load. Bum, 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 bum. If you guys have any questions, just look down in the description. I'll have information on what you need to do, and uh, I'll have the links for Green Poison. And that's all you guys need. Very simple, very easy jailbreak. All right, it should reboot, and it's starting back up again. Let me go down here. There's the animated icon. And there you go, guys. You have a jailbroken device. As indicated by Cydia. Now, whenever, if you're doing this for the first time and you're not doing this already uh, jailbroken, what you could do, or what you'll have, you'll have a loader icon right here, and you'll, you'll click it, and then it'll say, Do you want to install Cydia? And then you'll click yes, and then you'll install Cydia. It's very simple. But there you go, guys. And uh, um, if you don't want to lose any of your apps, then I would probably suggest just jailbreaking it without restoring it but restoring it does make it safer and does make it easier on the uh, jailbreak material jailbreak software so uh, I'll see you guys later thanks for watching you now have a t untethered jailbreak on your iPod touch fourth generation and all your devices I uh, hope you guys have a nice day and I'll see you guys later quote really soon